Macca's Reviews. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here. Welcome to my first impressions slash informal review of Kickbeat available on Steam starting January 20th for $9.99. It'll be 20% off for its first week of sale. The game is made by Zen Studios, which brought us Pinball FX as well as Castle Storm, which are both available for the Xbox Live Arcade and Steam. Castle Storm is actually one of my favorites of last year, so let's continue. Kickbeat is a rhythm game featuring fully 3D characters and combat with high energy music. And it's actually a port from a PS Vita version that came out earlier in 2013. So gameplay wise, as you can see on screen, your character is in the middle of arena with enemies around him. And as these enemies approach you, you have to click the button that corresponds with that enemy to take them out. And that is basically a very simplistic definition of what this game is. On screen, you'll see me using an Xbox 360 controller as that's what I'm personally comfortable with. Although the controls easily translate into keyboard and mouse as with any other Steam game. So keep that in mind. The Steam version features 19 songs ranging from electronic music all the way to hardcore rock music such as Rob Zombie, Marilyn Manson, Papa Roach, and even Pendulum which is one of my favorite bands. So that's pretty good. I found that there was a good variety and I enjoyed every song. Although a lot of the songs I didn't know going into the experience, which might be a turnoff to some people, they are going to be new songs that are introduced to you that you will either enjoy or not enjoy. For me, they were a treat. Now the game contains a story mode which is similar to Guitar Heroes where you're basically going through all of the songs in a story mode for no apparent reason. Now there are boss battles which do add a little bit of variety and personally for me I don't need a story when I'm going through a rhythm based game but there is one available there you go through all 24 tracks including the boss battles like I said there's two total characters and then there's other modes available as well. There are a total of four difficulties ranging from normal to master and as you increase in difficulty you also increase the amount of enemies on screen and you also increase or rather decrease the ease of which those um, buttons are pressed so you get less notices from the screen as to what button you should press next so it becomes much much more difficult now if by any chance you followed me for the last I don't know six years on YouTube you would know that I started off being a Halo 3 and Guitar Hero slash Rock Band only channel I've played a lot of Guitar Hero, a lot of Rock Band, a lot of rhythm based games. I've basically played on Expert all the time, but don't let this game fool you. I tried it on Expert and I did not fare as well as I thought I might. They make it a, a lot harder by incorporating a lot more enemies and a lot less cues like I said. So you'll probably want to work your way up and get better at this game, much how you had to get better at a new game that you tried like Guitar Hero or Rock Band. So there is a little bit of that difficulty aspect for new players, whether or not you are good or not good at rhythm based games. Now the game also features leaderboards, rewards, achievements and that kind of stuff, but where the game shines and one of its best selling features is definitely the ability to create your own track using any music off of your own computer. So what happens is you go into beat your track mode, you select a song off of your hard drive, then you help the system kind of guide you through the beat and it'll actually make a song in the game using the song from your computer which I found to be pretty awesome. You can take basically any song you want and put it into the game. Now obviously there are some limitations, you can't share these songs online I assume for licensing reasons or whatever. So the song will stay only on your computer and there are a few limitations for songs that have changing beats. What the game does is it kind of finds the beat of the song and just applies a general skeleton to that song. So unfortunately if the song has a lot of changing beats and rhythms uh, it won't necessarily make the best uh, track for it so you want to keep that in mind as well but you do have the ability to import your own tracks from your computer and kind of create a simplified track from that song. Now probably the most important part of the review what was my actual opinion of the game. So I actually enjoyed the fact that you can put your own song in the game. I actually really enjoyed the original songs that they chose to put into the game and I thought the story mode and the actual idea was very unique. I liked how fluid the combat was when you pressed the buttons and I liked how a lot of the songs were actually tracked within the game. They were fun to play. Now I did have a few problems uh, that it kind of got in the way of my experience. I wanted to be able to play a harder song but also still be displayed the actual buttons to press on my gamepad. But as soon as you move above the normal difficulty you no longer get those cues onto what buttons to press. Although I was a little bit bored when I was playing on normal because there wasn't enough buttons to press although I still wasn't good enough in the game to read the characters movements. I would have liked like maybe an unlockable mode where I could have applied uh, the two together. The gameplay is actually 
quite fun. Uh, you can get through the story mode pretty quick, which is with most rhythm games, but what you want to do is probably start revisiting the game on higher and higher difficulties as you get better and better. Start competing on leaderboards and stuff like that. So I did actually enjoy the game quite a bit, although it is uh, quite appealing to those who enjoy rhythm games. If you've hated rhythm games your whole life, there's probably not a lot that this game does that will change your mind unless you're really into um, dance and rock music, which doesn't really happen a lot. Guitar Hero has a lot of rock, whereas games like DDR have a lot of electronic music. This game kind of tries to blend the two along with the, the fighting mechanic in it. It's not a fighting game by any means, so don't get confused with that. It is mostly a rhythm game, but incorporates the rhythm of fighting into a game and displays it in a completely different way. So I actually enjoyed it, and at the price it's at, I would give it a try if I was a rhythm uh, gamer, which I am personally. So I'd recommend it for that reason. Hopefully you found the review uh, entertaining, informational, educational, any of the above. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Those are the three things that are going to help me maintain these videos for you guys. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Peace.